everybody welcome back to my channel uh today's video is going to be uh july and august empties which i have here in this bath and body works bag super full so i'm just gonna jump into the video so first up we have this matrix bio lounge shampoo this was in my finish 13 by 13 so you guys are getting a little sneak peek i did finish it off and this is one of my favorite shampoos to use uh and Sometime in the future, I will be repurchasing this again. Next up in here is my uh, generic witch hazel, which I use as toner. I love witch hazel works perfectly. You should get the ones that are almost 100%. I think this one was 86%. I haven't seen it really more than that, but it works for me and it keeps my acne at bay. I used up a pack of cotton rounds. It's a generic one from... I believe it's from Walmart. That's where I get them. I usually get them in a three pack. So yeah, definitely will be repurchasing those. Next up is my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. It looks like this. And the packaging. And as you can see, I used it all up. I'm currently not using this, um, but I'm using a different cleanser. And I will definitely be picking this up in no October, November when the VI... Sephora VIB sale at Sephora occurs. So yeah, you can look forward to this again. Next up in here is some TBS generic TBS makeup wipes. I thought the packaging was all broken and wonky. Um, these were okay. I don't think I'll be repurchasing this again. Um, I felt like it left a film on my face, but it was pretty good and I did use it up. Here is my Maybelline Rocket Volume Mask and I believe this is the waterproof formula this is what the tube looks like as you can see it's all worn off I really like this mascara I bought it before and I want I had bought it this time to try again and I will be purchasing this again in the future but for right now I'm using the another Maybelline mascara so yeah up in here is my L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Lotion oh moisturizer really like this it was pretty good for the application but as you guys did know and see in my sephora haul which i will link a card up here that says my june sephora haul i did pick up the algenis uh gel cream lotion moisturizer and i'm currently using that and i'm gonna see how that goes next up in here i used up one bottle of clear care uh for my contact solution it keeps my eyes really clean and my contacts really clean so yeah I'll be picking up more of these. Next in here is another Finish 13 by Halloween product. This is my uh, Soy Body Whip in the Scent Poppy. And this is what the packaging looks like. And this, as you can see, is all cleaned up. So yeah, I don't think I'll be purchasing this again. Um, this was actually a sample that I got in a beauty box I got a while ago so yeah it was pretty good and I am like here is a Clarisonic brush head I believe this is the sensitive brush head the the one with the beige ish specials it's one of the newer ones I thought it worked really well um I like the acne brush heads better but yeah this was good to try out in here is my Vera Wang Princess Perfume. I love this perfume. I will definitely be purchasing another one of these bottles in the future if I can find them. But yeah, I love it. And I'm kind of sad that it's gone now. Next, in here is another Finish 13 by Halloween product. It is my Taylor Swift Wonderstruck Perfume. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very beautiful. It's kind of hard to see through and yes i finished it off recently so you are getting more of a preview of the products that i've used up and that's the challenge so next in here is my revlon nearly naked naked foundation this is what the packaging looks like and as you can tell i've scraped it all out or as much as i can and it was pretty good coverage um, more color coverage than a BB cream, uh, less than a regular, regular foundation, but I liked it and I might purchase this again in the future. Natural Aloha Pit Balm. This was in a regular size. 
I did recently pick up another container of the double size, triple size of these, and I'll be using that. But I also did sub some deodorant when I was at Sephora recently. So I, yeah, this is what the container looks like. It comes in a bomb. So you kind of rub it, and it's like coconut milk in a milk. So I will definitely be purchasing these again. Here is a. Uh, Pure Moist Rewetting Drops. These are my contact rewetting drops. I really like these. And yep, I finished off a full bottle. So, yay. Next up in here is my NYX Set It, Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. This is what the packaging looks like. It was pretty good. I picked this up on a whim. Um, as you can see, there is a sifter on it. Um, and I thought it went pretty good, but I think I liked more pressed powders better than loose powders it tends to fly up for the loose powders but yeah it was a pretty good powder i don't know if i'll purchase it again in the future next up in here is my julep uh top coat this is what the packaging looks like i uh i don't know if this is done but i decided to get rid of it because it was coming out gloppy and yeah i got this for free in a sample box so i haven't really purchased jewel products so yeah it was good that I finished off this but I might subscribe to julep in the future next in here is a uh, what is this called Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Heavenly Perfume Sample this is what the packaging looks like it this one comes with a sprayer thankfully which is really nice um I wonder if we can twist this off maybe not bad um and yeah i liked it um it was really light and sweet so yeah i will probably not purchase a full size because i didn't really smell it that much. next up in here is my laneige water bank moisture cream this was a sample that i got i believe it is was my target for pop sugar box um and i will link up a card over here somewhere that has an unboxing video but yes I enjoyed this cream serum and maybe I'll purchase this in the future next up in here is a sample of my Pangea organics eye cream in Turkish rose and white tea this is what the packaging looks like and I enjoyed the sample it was a little dried out when I finally tried it but yes it was really good to use and I don't know still haven't made a decision on whether I need eye cream or not. Next up in here is, an, is a 13 by Halloween product. This is my Clinique All About the Eye Serum. And this is what the packaging looks like. And it comes with a roller ball, as you guys know. And I finished it all off. But I didn't repurchase it in my Sephora haul. And I don't. So currently I'm going without an eye cream. And I'm going to see if I can last till October, no, late October, November without an eye cream and I'll make a decision about whether I purchase another one then. We are down to the last three products, people. This, just the wrong products. Um, this is my Benefit Bigger Than BB Big and Easy BB Cream. This was in my Project 13 by Halloween and if you guys have seen that update, I will link it over here in a card you would know that I finished this all off also. Look at how nice that packaging is. But I did purchase a new one, another one in my Sephora haul and I've been using it a lot lately because it's been super hot. Uh, last couple things in here. This one is a Milani pencil in number three. I don't remember what the color is. I really liked it. And I'm finding that I kind of like lip pencils, but that I go through them really fast so I don't know if I'll purchase this again it was a nice color though this is my makeup forever uh, mascara I got this as a sample um, I forget when um, it might have been the Sephora BIB gift last year um, and I enjoyed this it has a nice wand on it conical wand and I really liked it so that is all those are my pro empties that I used up which is kind of a lot um and please keep up with me on my blog twitter and instagram I'll leave a link over here 
and in the down bar, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye! And then I also...